Keys man who shot and paralyzed his teenage neighbor. Change their lives in his last step. Almost completely paralyzed. 13-year-old Ventura boys may suffer permanent paralysis from gunshot wounds suffered when a neighbor barged into his home and started shooting. The door flew open, and it was my neighbor from across the street, Brian Adams. And he grabbed my friend Sean and threw him to the ground, and he said, where the hell's Kevin? It was one of those moments where kind of a thousand things go through your head in a split second, and he pulled, he cocked it back, and I realized at that moment that it wasn't a BB gun. It was a scream that you hear in the movies. It wasn't a normal, a normal scream. I knew instantly something was wrong, and there was just blood all around Kevin's head, and it doesn't look like uh, bright red blood. It looks, it's dark, and it's horrible. It was uh, like I was dreaming. Um, I was thinking in my head, he can't die, he can't die, please don't let my brother die. Ryan was totally a different person. He was totally mentally disturbed and gone. I mean, it's so bizarre to, to call people and say, Kevin's been shot. What does that mean? What do, what do you mean, Kevin's been shot? It's so, such a bizarre statement because that's what happens to other people. That's what happens in other cities. It doesn't happen in the Ventura Keys to your son. I had no idea that it was gonna change his life forever. No idea that he would never be the boy that I knew him as. People say retire, travel. They don't understand how I can travel and enjoy life. <laughs> God has a plan, mm -hmm. you know, and though tragic and horrible, he's got a purpose for it. Mm -hmm. and, and I may never have been the person that, I'm, that I am or going to be or strive to be had this never happened. I always thought one day he will kill himself, but I never, never realized this could have happened.